nice day. Roll over. Good dog. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 cool tricks to teach your dog. Pretty soon, your dog will be an expert and will want to do nothing but crawl. For this list, we're looking at tricks that any dog lover and owner can teach his or her canine companion. Some of the tricks featured are definitely advanced, but are still achievable with time, patience, and lots of practice. The only tricks we're removing from the list are the truly over-the-top type of tricks that can only be taught by professionals. We're also not considering the classic standards like sit, stay, down, etc. I'm looking for Oscars. Do you think your dog and you could win an Oscar? Yes. <laughs> Number 10, high five. High five, good girl. Do the other one, high five, good girl. After sit, stay, and down, most dogs learn to give a paw or shake. And while paw is certainly cute, aren't you always wishing they could do something with a little more enthusiasm? Now it's time to turn your hand up and make it look like you're doing a high five. Too often, a dog just seems so indifferent about the paw they're giving. Well, with a few minor adjustments, you can turn that floppy paw into an awesome high five that's sure to impress. Note, your dog should already know how to give paw before attempting this trick. And we would like to say, if your dog knows paw, they're ready to move on to high five. Then by simply presenting your hand flat towards the dog in a stop motion, they will be forced to adapt and match your position. Step five, add a verbal cue, like saying high five each time your dog touches your palm. Number nine, roll over. Roll over, roll over. Good boy, script. This is one of those tricks that some dogs take too quickly, while for others, the movement is simply too awkward to feel natural. But with perseverance and enough treats, any dog can learn to roll with the best of them. Note, for this trick, your dog will already need to be good at lying down on command. I don't need to do sit because that would be double the work right now because I need her to lay down to start roll over. By holding a treat in your hand and rotating it around the dog's head, you can lead him or her through the roll. Move in baby steps and be sure to reward your dog at various logical points as his or her body goes through the progression. Yes, good girl! Good girl! Yay, good girl! And then she hits the jackpot. This will lead your dog to internalize the movement. And as your dog gets better and better at this, you can start to move your hand a little bit further away, yes. Number eight, dance. We've all been there. You're home, feeling blue and need a pick-me-up. There's only one solution, spontaneous dance party. I would like for Stella to bring her front paws straight up in the air, as well as walk around a little bit so it looks more like dancing. But no one likes dancing alone. You glance over at your dog, and he or she gives you a look that says, Me? Go for it! There are lots of fancy twists, spins, and jumps you can add to the routine over time, but in the short term, just have fun with it. It all starts with getting your dog comfortable on his or her hind legs. Trainers claim that dancing is confidence building for anxious or shy dogs, as it's a trick that encourages movement and excitement in an appropriate manner. Number seven, peekaboo. Peekaboo. Fact, dogs are cute, but when they act like people, they're even cuter. Teaching your dog to play peekaboo or be shy or cover his or her eyes is not only adorable, but relatively easy. The most common method is to lightly place a piece of tape or a sticker on his or her forehead or nose, and then he or she goes to swipe it off, say your chosen command and praise him or her. The tape shouldn't be pushed on, just lightly placed. Your dog's comfort should always come first. Alternative methods involve guiding the hand in a variation of paw or tickling his or her nose with something else instead of tape. Number six, open and close doors. You got it, you got it. Tug, 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 there yes, go. good boy! Open it. This next one might seem a little daunting at first, but the key is to take it in small steps. It'll take time, but it will be well worth a look on a house guest's face when your dog enters the room through a fully closed door. My, what a lovely dog. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Again, start with something familiar. Take his or her rope toy and connect it to a door handle. Encourage him or her to tug on it. Tug? Yes. When your dog manages to pull the doorknob and open the door, you should walk through the doorway, call for him or her to follow, and then shower your dog with praise. Just don't put one in any door you might not want your dog to open. Once she pulls, I'll say good and reward her. Number five, balance a treat. 
once saw a dog balance a marshmallow on his nose. For many dogs, self-control is the toughest aspect of training. But a dog that can control his or herself in close proximity to food is a pleasure to be around. So why did I mess with my kibbles and bits? Show your pup the ultimate exercise in self-control by teaching him or her to balance a treat on their nose. Begin by training your dog to wait patiently as you hold the treat in your outstretched palm directly in front of their nose, and only taking the treat when you give the command. Then, transfer the responsibility of holding the treat over to him or her. There will be some pretty hilarious failed attempts along the way, but don't give up. Steady. Yes, good girl. Number 4. Play Dead Sit, kneel, pray, play dead. Now resurrect. This is a trick that you see a lot of canine actors perform in movies and television shows, but is totally doable by the average dog. Play dead. <laughs> the dog falls over onto his or her side and then stays there until released. This is the first step of play dead. We need to keep his head down. If you have a stay command, you can tell him to stay. The sky's the limit in terms of fun verbal commands like hit the dirt or fire in the hole. Fire in the hole! You can also train your dog to make it seem like they're playing dead to avoid something he or she dislikes with a cue like bath time. Bath time! You can also incorporate hand motions to make it more interesting. An example would be the ever popular shooting hand motion combined with the bang verbal command. Reach for the sky. Gotcha! <laughs> oh, great job, boy! Number three. Fetch me a drink. He's gonna get it. He'll get it. He'll get it. <laughs> Good boy, Ripper. Bring it here. This is one of the more absurdly elaborate tricks you can teach your dog. Here we go. But once he or she has learned to do the trick consistently, Jaws will literally hit the floor whenever he or she performs it. Fetch is a popular game between dog and master, and a way to exercise your pet. But teaching a dog to fetch you a cold beverage goes beyond the ambitions of most dog owners. But she's learned that putting her mouth on the, tr on the beer is now what's going to get her the reward. For this trick, your dog will already need to know how to open doors with a pull string, hold objects, and fetch on command. Then you just add them together. Now, if we could only train a dog to mix a decent mojito. I'm a fiend for mojitos. Number two, backflips. Let's bring out our first act, Yippee the backflipping dog! <laughs> if your dog can fetch, he or she can also learn to leap high in the air to catch a frisbee or ball. Dogs, when properly exercised, are impressive athletes, capable of pretty incredible feats of agility. Teach your dog to spice up that massive leap by training him or her to perform a backflip. Yes, good girl, oust. Whoa! Juicy juice! Good girl! This trick is only for dogs that are in excellent shape and are not prone to back or leg injuries, as it requires a lot of strength. So if you've got an overweight or elderly dog, stick with one of the less physically intense tricks on the list. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. And this way, everybody is happy, the dog's not getting confused or reprimanded. With enough repetition of hearing the word good when his paw touches my paw, good! Ugh, I've been kissed by a dog! Any movement of the front end going down gets a click and a reward. Number one, skateboarding. It might be hard to believe, but your dog can skateboard. And if you don't skateboard, he or she can probably skateboard better than you. Thanks to their four legs, dogs are much better at maintaining their balance than us two-legged beasts. And this translates to their ability to do board sports, whether on land or water. Although for surfing, you will need to know how to do it first. And it seems he's had a positive response, with many dog owners apparently taking to the waves alongside him. The hardest part about teaching your dog to skateboard is getting him or her comfortable with being on a moving object. Then when your dog is comfortable with getting on the skateboard, you can remove the mat and click and treat your dog for standing on the skateboard. The basis of this comes from first teaching your dog to stay in a standing position on the unmoving board. Just make sure to keep your dog off busy streets and steep hills. Do you agree with our list? What's the coolest dog trick you've seen or taught your dog? For more adorable top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to Ms. Mojo. Yeah!